Hello everyone, how are you going? Welcome to What Do Europeans Really Think About Canada? Now we've already checked out what the Japanese think and we already know what the USA thinks, but given the fact that Europe is such a large population and such a broad spectrum of people, I can only imagine there's going to be a varied ideas here. Hey, hey guys. guys! So we're still getting settled into Ireland. We'll give you guys an update on all that later. But for now, it's Canada Day, and to share some love, we decided to ask Europeans in Dublin what they really think of Canada. What right. they like. But also what they don't. So here we go. Too nice. Too polite. I love Canadians. It's cool, it's fun, it's relaxed. Everyone in Canada is like friendly and chill. I guess their accent's kind of like, Amazing. it's like French Canadian, but like you're not French, you're Canadian. French? It's like they're you're also really not American. French. And they need to be more decisive. Yeah, make your mind up. Make up your mind. Canadian. <laughs> What's that singer? What's that singer? It's a nice country, cool people. No, you're the one, the really nice soul one. Can I jump people around where we open my name? What's his name? Do you know who I want about? Neville's <laughs> I love maple syrup. Maple syrup? No, what's his name? No, maple syrup, that singer. <laughs> Wait, hang on a second. She's just trying to be figure out what singer she's attempting to think of, and the other lady just goes, maple syrup. I mean, that truly does show you how prolific as a stereotype maple syrup is. I mean, does it count as a stereotype, or is it just a thing that everyone knows that Canada has, and it's just the stereotype of Canada as a whole, not particularly about the people, so to say. I mean, speaking of the people, we definitely do have to take into consideration that they said this was only in Dublin, and so I guess they're not wrong in terms of how they've advertised it, because they said, what do Europeans? But that's very close to what does Europe Think, where really it's only going to be one city with only a few different tourists mix in there. But no, so far, like you get with every single report about Canada, it is just an absolutely glowing report. Everyone just says you're too this, you're too that, but really they're just saying you're too nice and you're too friendly and you're too energetic or whatever it may be. I mean, the worst thing was that they were just mucking around with it, just saying, oh, you just, you're not picking an accent. Come on, just pick one. You can't have them all. But no, they were very, very kind about the entire thing. And I guess that always does say a lot that Canada really does have one of the highest overall rankings of any country in the world in terms of that virtually every single country holds them as a population to a very very high standard or not even standard just they make it themselves what's his name do you know who i want about maple syrup i love maple syrup maple syrup no what's his name no not maple syrup that singer you know who does the drake justin bieber well, that's what I'm michael bublé michael bublé there we go you are michael responsible bublé. for justin bieber though we have michael bublé too it's yeah, just not a just as bad. <laughs> Your bacon is shit. Very progressive country. Although they do make good beer. Canadian beer, very good. <laughs> I've actually never met a Canadian I didn't like. And they're good at ice hockey. Canada is the new beacon of hope in the new world for, for us Europeans. Canadian wow. seems more natural and more real for us. Could be a bit naive as well. I think Canadian is a good. Was that? Naive or nice? Seems more natural and more real for us. Could be a bit naive as well. It certainly sounds, or at least to me, it certainly sounds as though she's saying naive. I mean, I'm just wondering now, what kind of experience has she had to be calling an entire country naive? I mean, usually that's just going to be one person or a group of people, but to call an entire country naive after just calling them the beacon of hope in the new world, that's, that's a pretty big difference there. To be fair though, for the rest of the clip, the positive comments just absolutely kept on rolling in between the beer and the people and the progressive nature of the country i mean even that for europe to be saying that canada is being a progressive country is i mean i guess you have to take it as a compliment because i mean I guess you're not in the Nordic countries, so you're not doing that direct comparison between the absolute top dogs, but really Europe overall is definitely considered to be quite a progressive place. Actually though, there was one in particular that completely caught me by surprise and I can't seem to find it. It was just such a quick little snippet. Where is it? Here we go. This guy right here just saying that the bacon is completely subpar. I mean, he didn't say it exactly like that. He said it very much like it, what you would expect in Dublin, but that does then make me wonder what in particular does he not like about it? Is it the flavor of the bacon? Is it the maple bacon? Bacon? Is it the way it's even been prepared because it's too crispy? And I, I, I know in Australia at least that we have soft bacon, and so I can only assume that we've stolen that from the UK and Ireland and Dublin and Scotland, and everyone's going to be the same. Oh, and actually, there is one last section that I just have to bring up before we get to move on, and let me just take it back and we'll just play it out. Here we go. And they're good at good. ice hockey. There it is. We're good, or they are good at ice hockey. It just says it all, doesn't it? Another Northern Hemisphere country that is calling it ice hockey. And so I'm not completely crazy about calling it ice hockey. And yes, Canada is just going to be calling it hockey all day long. But you see, from an international perspective, that is what it is going to be called because you have multiple forms of skating, of which I can only assume that Ireland is going to be participating in all of them. And they are still calling it ice hockey. I think Canada is a good people. His ex girlfriend lives in Canada. And she's a great, she's she's a great chick. We also like your president. I think he's very cute. Yeah, because you're Justin Trudeau and. Yeah. 
Great landscape. They need to bring the chocolate over to Ireland. Reese's peanut butter cups. Give me a second. Oh, yeah. Just, why don't you think for a second before speaking? It's famous because the, the people are so kind there. They are always saying thank yous and they are very polite. Friendly. All right. Very open minded place. There's a lot of opportunities. Best rap battle league in the world. King of the Dark. Best place to live <laughs> ever. My favorite comedian is Colin Mockery. The weather is not as great as we have here in Ireland. I love Quebec. I love the music in Quebec. Oh. Oh. Trump doesn't destroy you in the next 50 years or Thank whatever. You. Thank you for the syrup. <laughs> Thank you for the syrup. Like I said, and I guess like everyone knows clearly, it is just a worldwide phenomenon. Just every single person associates Canada with the maple leaf. I mean, I guess to some extent it is their own doing because, well, they do manufacture it, but they also did go ahead and put the maple leaf on their flag, and it has to be one of the most recognizable flags in the world. I mean, of course, to everyone that is living in their own country, their own flag is going to be quite recognizable, but really half of Europe is just three colors, and I feel as though, sure, you can be creative to some extent within three colors, but when you just do three colors with an icon or a symbol, or anything else, you're definitely going to have a little bit more of a winner there. But it certainly did not just stop there, you know, as this lady here, she also wanted the chocolate, or I guess in particular, she wanted the Reese's Pieces, and I'm not too sure if I've ever had a true Reese's Pieces, and so there's not much I can comment on there, but the other thing that caught me off guard was the fact that these guys said that the weather in Ireland was better than in Canada, and I mean, that's going to be a bit of a weird comparison, because I'm sure if you're comparing alert compared to Vancouver. That's going to be a big, big, big difference where Ireland being such a small country, you're going to have a relatively similar or same weather pattern regardless of where you are. And really, even though I guess Canada certainly could be holding the worldwide crown for being the cold country, I mean, Iceland and Greenland and even the Nordic countries definitely can hold a torch to Canada. But at the same time, I really don't think as though the UK can be saying too much about having the perfect weather system either. I mean, even London in particular is going to just be world renowned for being just grey and miserable and rainy all the time. I mean, they get a day like this and everyone just forgets that the rest of the days exist, but that certainly does not mean that all of a sudden they just have perfect weather. I mean, if they did, then there wouldn't be just a stereotype of all of the UK traveling to Spain and the rest of Italy and Greece and everything like that just to chase the sun and chase the perfect weather. I think all jokes aside, I actually really like Canadians. Happy birthday to Canada. Happy 150th birthday, Canada. Happy birthday, Canada. Happy birthday, Canada. Oh, happy birthday. Happy 150th birthday, Canada. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> happy birthday, happy Canada. birthday, Canada. Happy birthday, Canada. <laughs> happy birthday, Canada. <laughs> happy birthday, Canada. Happy birthday, Canada. Happy birthday, Canada. Happy 150th 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 birthday, Canada. So surprise, surprise, we are best known for being super nice slash awesome. Our maple syrup. Our music. Our prime minister. And our beer. Kind of sad no one said Celine Dion. Oh. Happy 150th, 150th birthday, Canada. Canada. Now look, I know it's in the middle of the year, but how, okay, this video was six years ago, and so they would be at 156 now, which I guess is the funny part about doing this kind of video, because all of these countries are just so, so, so much older. They're going, ha, 150 years. I remember when we were 150 years old, that was thousands of years ago for some of these countries, and that just shows the insane nature of both Australia and Canada and these British colonies. I mean, of course, the Aboriginal peoples of both lands have been living there for thousands upon thousands of years before the British came and discovered the place, so to say, and the utmost respect has to be paid to that history at all times. But positively or negatively, the amount of change that these countries have seen over the last two to three to four hundred years is unmatched really anywhere else in the world. I mean, you look at, like I said, these countries are thousands of years old and they're at the same level, or depending on which metric you want to go by, perhaps they're even behind, like take the USA's or Canada's GDP, or all of these massive places have so many resources at their disposal that they it really can be unmatched. But look, overall, there is certainly no denying it. From a worldwide perspective, Canada has to be one of the most loved countries there is. Between Australia and all the tourism that we provide into Canada in the ski season and beyond, to Japan, and we know how much that even the Japanese love Canada, to even now in Europe, Canada just gets glowing reports worldwide. And yes, that may be something to do with the maple syrup and how much everyone is addicted to it. And maybe that is also a thing that Canada is just very, very good at just manipulating people with maple syrup. But by the same metric, they are the nice people they're the kind ones and they say sorry a lot and that just gets you a long way in the world instead of just being arrogant and egotistical no it's not what Canada is about it's not the mantra and people might have some positive things and some negative things but overall you definitely have to give them a very 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 good score